Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you are doing good. Today we are going to see how we can pause and resume SLA in Pega and what is dynamic SLA and what are the OTB activities involved, what is system queue service level and what are the parameters you have to look into and how to add business calendar data. Before going to video, I want to share that I am available in TopMet now. So if you want some Pega career guidance or if you want some Pega mock interviews or if you want some information on interview questions whatever it is you can reach me personally in this top mid. you can book a video meeting with me so that uh, I can have one to one chat with you guys if you want to know basics of SLA you can watch my previous video I've already uploaded it's in my youtube channel and 44th video I have mentioned over here Let's get started into the topic. Today, I will be explaining you about case level SLA and how we are pausing and resume case level SLA. As we know that there are different type of SLAs as well. So this is the case I have taken and if you go to settings under uh, goal and deadline, I have used existing SLA and uh, I have selected default from the drop down. Okay. And this uh, default uh, SLA is having goal of two days and deadline of five days and it is already calculating business days and if you want to make this a day so as a dynamic you just uh, go here and uh, set the value and mention the property where you are going uh, to handle the days and deadlines and once you define this on your case type you know that there is one data transform py default data transform for the respective case so if you open that uh, while we are creating case that PV SLA name is already tagged to default and urgency of the work object is uh, default to 10. So this is the basic idea of uh, adding a case level SLA and how to tag an SLA to your case. That is step 1. Step 2. So let's first create a case and see what is the behavior. So here we have created a case, you can see due is 7 days from now, why because uh, 2 days uh, goal and 5 days uh, deadline, so total it is 7 days, go to your clipboard, you can see under PY work page, SLA name default, this is our SLA name, see deadline is 5 days from today, so as there is a weekend or 2nd and 3rd August, sorry 3rd and 4th August, uh, it has calculated till 8th of August and as a goal, that is also 2 days, so today is 1st of August, so 1, 2, 3rd and 4th is holiday, so 5th it was taking and uh, here uh, you can see under PY work page, PX flow, this is overall flow, overall SLA, this is OOTB, overall SLA, uh, this is a very key element in our uh, pause and resume SLA because when we are going to pause SLA, we have to pass a uh, few parameters to an activity called as PX adjust SLA times. For that activity, we have to pass assignment key. We should not pass our uh, new SNE uh, PZINS key, we have to pass this particular PX flow overall SLA PZINS key that is nothing but PX assignment key. So here we have verified that on our clipboard uh, SLA name and everything is populated properly. Now you check uh, background, go to system queue service level. This is the class which holds all the entries of your, our SLAs. So click here. So it's say 13004. This is overall SLA. So this is nothing but the flow name followed by the PZNS key. And here, if you search for minimum age for processing is minus one. See, this is minimum time for processing. This is like when is the next execution time that needs to be happened for this uh, SLA. So we have goal and deadline. So it will be taking goal so you might uh, get a doubt how to see that here you can see px event is goal so 
even though you have configured goal deadline only one entry will be there suppose your goal has been passed then this particular entry of uh, service level will be having py event uh, sorry px event as deadline and py minimum date as the date uh, that is being assigned to our case this is a uh, second step of verification now i want to pause this uh, for 50 days example so here pause and resume sla technically we are just postponing the sla time so there are many ways of doing a requirement there might be like a requirement uh, like for infinite time we have to postpone this then the only solution we have is we have to delete the queue entry and uh, detach the particular service level object for this case that is one way of doing and there are some otb flows also there where we can uh, use that so my approach is to postpone this for a number of days so for that i have configured for 50 days for example so i have provided a flow action call as pause sla and here i am giving some two reasons like wait for some document or no data available suppose i have given this click submit you can see uh, we have paused this sla some action has been done let's verify again on the clipboard it's py work page see now it has been updated to 24th of september and deadline is updated to 27th of september and i have captured reason as well pause sla reason so when this particular value is null then only i am uh, showing pause sla and I have created another case level flow action resume SLA. It will be displayed whenever this is having a value. So I will be explaining you how we are doing uh, in next coming steps. Again, I'm going for actions. Oh, let's verify here as well. See minimum time for processing. It is updated to 24th September. Okay. Now uh, here I am maintaining one property on our clipboard. Pay work page. So I'm maintaining one property called as remaining goal time. It is three days. So whenever we are pausing SLA, I'm getting the difference between this PV SLA goal and current date time. So whenever we are resuming the SLA, it should uh, take uh, the remaining days from there, but not from the starting. Now let's resume SLA. So here I am just showing resume SLA and continue process and click submit. Let's see how we have implemented this pause SLA. So I have created a flow action pause SLA. Under actions I have referred one activity pause SLA. So this activity I have written. So I have you took the help of PX adjust SLA times. This is one of the OTB activity provided by PEGA and you can see parameters like we have to pass assignment ID and uh, reset SLA to goal, adjustment mode, fixed or interval. So this is also very crucial. And what are the different parameters that are used for fixed and what are the different parameters that are used for interval. So for pause SLA here, I'm passing assignment key. As I have told you, we should pass assignment key of this overall SLA, but not uh, new SNE dot uh, some assignment key because we are pausing the case uh, entire case level SLA and here I'm passing interval why because if I go a step back here we can see fixed and interval so if you know that for the respect to uh, some date time you want to postpone your SLA then you could have used fixed one Suppose uh, you know like uh, these many days you want to postpone your SLA, you have to use this uh, interval one. So under interval you can see we are passing actually uh, how many days we have to adjust this uh, SLA. Uh, like that uh, adjust hours or minutes also you can uh, specify over here. 
suppose you know some date time like that then you can pass as fixed so for pause sla here what i am doing is assignment key i am getting from our clipboard overall sla interval now i am getting the date time difference uh, between current date time and py sla goal uh, in days so it would be returning some three or four days suppose example uh, for our scenario current date time and uh, this particular PVSL given time we have seen that is 5th August so it has returned 3 days so it would be carrying this remaining goal time as 3 and now I want to adjust this to 50 days because I have told like I am just making sure that SLA is paused pausing is nothing but postponing the SLA actions to some n number of days so I have followed this approach so here I am giving 50 now I am doing this add to date and I am adding this PYSL goal that value already we have as 5th August to that I am actually adding some 50 days and uh, I am giving commit as false so so that uh, during uh, flow action submit the values will be updated in that uh, entry of service level queue also and I am just giving uh, pass parameter in this way I am just updating goal and deadline uh, for some 50 days so this is one way of doing it it's no it's not a rule that you have to follow this and for resume SLA the same I have created a flow action and uh, display condition also as I have, I have told if pause SLA reason is null then I am showing pause SLA if that is not equal to null then I am showing resume SLA in this resume SLA we know that uh, for uh, what is the current date when we are clicking resume SLA how many days we have to set this uh, particular goal time so I'm already I'm capturing remaining goal time as three uh, three days so here if you go for the date time difference it will return uh, decimal value that's why I got 3.0 just I want to pass three that's why I have given what comes first of this dot so when I am giving this, uh, I would be getting some value and I am adding to the date again from current date time to remaining goal which is nothing but 3. Then the particular SLA will be set uh, to again 5th August. So here I am setting only goal time. For deadline time also, we are using a fixed right for a resume SLA. We have to pass deadline over a date time. So this uh, deadline over a date time and goal over date time, if you pass it, uh, it would be very useful and there is some other OTB function add time so this add time is one of the OTB function and uh, you can specify your business calendar also whether you want to consider business calendar or not so here uh, it is uh, also used uh, in some of the OTB places You can see they are passing all the values like minutes, seconds and what is a calendar and whether you want to consider calendar or not. So you have to specify some start date, example current date time, uh, how many days you want to add to the SLA goal or deadline, days, hours, minutes, seconds and whether you want to consider business calendar. So we know that uh, for our operator ID record, calendar will be already associated. Uh, in system basis, PX requester and such for calendar. PY calendar. So here you can see. So this value you can pass uh, dynamically. So that it will be considering uh, this uh, respective thing. This is one way of uh, doing uh, pause and uh, resume SLA another simple way of doing it is uh, like uh, just resume the flow action and uh, we can remove the SLA entry from the queue and uh, while we are again uh, resuming the SLA we can uh, add this uh, PX adjust SLA times so it uh, indeed what it does is uh, 
it will be opening the record of our uh, respect to service level agreement which is nothing but a default and it would be adding all the steps and it would be linking this SLA to our case. Hope you have understood the concept of pause and resume SLA. Let me know your thoughts on this pause and resume SLA and do comment if you have followed different approaches so it will be very useful for many PIGA developers. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you like this content. As it is free of course, please share, like, comment and subscribe to my channel. Share your knowledge as well in comments.